We don't tend to respond to many calls in that area. But one house is at the center of two incidents over the course of a week in Warren. Yeah, police went through the home after Howard Dorsey was found shot there last Tuesday. Today, a fire investigator was there. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Samantha Bender, in for Lindsay Watson. Investigators returned to that home, this time for a suspected arson. Today, I spoke with the fire chief on the investigation. This home in the 1000 block of Lovers Lane Northwest in Warren now sits boarded up after a fire Sunday evening. When crews arrived on scene, they observed a large volume of fire in the front of the house. Less than a week ago, this home a part of an entirely different scene. Warren police investigating the city's second homicide of the year there. Fire Chief Ken Nussel tells me crews were able to enter the home and knock down a large portion of the fire. They also noticed that the rear door appeared to have been forced open, not by firefighters, but by somebody else. And there were also two five-gallon gas cans that were found inside the structure. He says it's been determined that the fire was intentionally set, and while he couldn't comment on the connection to last week's homicide, he tells me it does raise some red flags. Warren 7th Ward Councilman Ronald White echoing some of those concerns. We're trying to beautify the neighborhood and everything else, but one of the main things is, is that this is just violence that's happening that shouldn't be. But again, you know, we got to come together and work together. If you, see, if you see something, say something. Chief Nussel says the home is a total loss. They're working with both the state fire marshal and Warren police on the investigation. That was pretty significant fire damage. Uh, I'm not sure if the house can be rehabilitated. The building official will look at that and he'll uh, issue them notice that they can apply for a permit to rehabilitate or, in his opinion, if it needs to be demolished. Now, I'm told no one was home at the time of the fire. A reward of up to $5,000 is available for anyone with information on any potential suspects in this fire. Anyone with information should call the Ohio State Fire Marshal's office. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.